five ways to know if you're following the right diet program. Well, hold on a minute here. I don't follow a diet because diets don't work. I don't diet, I don't do diets, I don't follow a diet, diets don't work. Well, <laughs> you're always on a diet unless you're fasting. So let's get that out of the way right up front. Everybody's on a diet whether you like it or not. And we want to find out if you're on the right one, okay? So the first of five indicators to know whether or not you're on the right diet program would be, number one, if you're eating food you prefer most of the time. 90% of the time, you should be eating food you enjoy, you prefer uh, that uh, most of the time, okay? Number two is you should be avoiding foods you dislike most of the time, okay? If there's a food you dislike, no food is that vital that if you dislike it, it can't be replaced with something else. And to piggyback off reason number one is that when you're eating foods you prefer and you're avoiding foods you dislike, you're more likely to sustain. You're more likely to be able to sustain the program. It's gonna sustain, and when you sustain a program, then you're more likely to get the desired results, okay? You gotta execute and sustain. And, and if you're eating foods you prefer and avoiding foods you dislike, you're a lot more likely to sustain. So reason number three to know if you're on the right nutritional program would be if uh, if you have, if you are, have a sustained energy level throughout the day, if you have big dips in energy, if you're super tired in the afternoon or, you know, it's sometime during the day, that indicates to me you're not, you're not getting enough quality calories. You're not getting enough nourishment. There's something, there's something that's causing that. And that the first thing I point, that points directly to your nutritional program. So if you're really tired in the afternoons, I don't mean a slight dip in energy, okay? Very few people are super, you know, even keeled energy all throughout the day. There's gonna be times, maybe between certain meals, where your energy might dip a little bit. I'm not talking about a little dip where you're just, you know, a little bit more tired. I'm talking about people that just basically crash. They can't survive without a caffeine stimulant. That's a good way to, uh, to differentiate. If you can't make it through your day, without a, uh, an energy drink, a cup of coffee, an energy shot, a fat burner pill, that indicates to me that your diet is not very effective. That's a big red flag. Uh, a fourth reason to know whether or not you're on the right nutritional program or not would be if you're very hungry throughout the day. You shouldn't be chronically hungry. I've been very consistent. I've always said that you should be hungry about 30 minutes a day. Five minutes here, 20 minutes there, 10 minutes here. Not very much, okay? You should basically, uh, if, if you think about it, you, you should never wait until you're hungry to eat. Now, if you are hungry when your meal rolls around, yeah, of course you should eat it. But hunger is never a gauge as to when you're ready to eat, okay? Because hunger can sneak up on you very fast and hit you very hard. But the whole point is, so reason number four, I'll repeat it once again, is that you shouldn't be hungry often at all. You should be satisfied. And if you understand where hunger comes from, hunger is regulated by your blood sugar levels. So if your blood sugar level dips, your hunger is going to go up, okay? So if you have somewhat, some of, somewhat reasonably even blood sugar levels throughout the day, you're not gonna have an issue with chronic hunger. And if you're eating the right nutrition, that's gonna handle that. So uh, what's the fifth reason? What's the fifth way to know if you're eating the right diet program? Uh, the fifth way would be is if you're making progress monthly. Uh, you should not weigh yourself daily. You certainly shouldn't weigh yourself weekly, but you should gauge progress monthly. And the best way to gauge progress is two ways. You do need to check the scale, uh, but the best way is to measure your waist across your navel. If your waist is dropping, you're burning body fat. I promise you. It's possible to lose scale weight and not burn body fat. That is possible, okay? Uh, it's unlikely uh, if you're consistently losing scale weight, you probably are burning body fat. But the best way to gauge that is uh, your uh, waist across the navel and um, combined with scale weight and do that one time a month. So if you're not progressing, if you're not making improvements monthly, that indicates to me you're not eating the right nutritional program. I understand other issues could be the culprit if you're super stressed out, uh, if you're on, uh, if you're, if you're overtraining, I understand, I understand that can be part of the culprit, but, but those are some good five key indicators that will pinpoint and let you know whether or not you're on the right nutritional map. Guys, be sure to like this below, and uh, hope you guys have a great one. We're out of here.